just woke up like five minutes ago. That's probably being generous. <laughs> so I'm like half asleep. But I'm starting the vlog super early today because I am going to help my in-laws move. Um, basically a few months back, their house flooded and um, they had just purchased land. So they're like moving now um, into a rental house to live in until their like new house is built or whatever. So we're going to help them do that today, but I wanted to try out a new foundation that I got yesterday. It's the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I got it in the color F2. I just wanted to try it out because I got a few different products. So I just figured I would like throw it into a vlog so it doesn't have to be like, there doesn't have to be a whole devoted video to a concealer and a foundation. Straight out of the gate. Cool. Straight out of the gate, I don't quite know how much foundation to use, I never do. Um, it feels like you kind of have to use a decent amount. I could be wrong though. Once I get to uh, blending, I don't like this applicator. I don't like any doe foot applicators when it comes to things like this, like that. That's huge, come on now, but it's fine. So my favorite foundation brush, Morphe M439, that I use. I just always kind of blend it in first and then go back with concealer. One of my favorite beauty vloggers, YouTubers, whatever, she is um, Casey Holmes. She actually has the same skin I do. It's like oily, acne prone skin with rosacea. And so if she recommends something, usually I'm like, oh, I have to go get it. And she really loved this stuff. So that is why I purchased it yesterday. I'd say the color is pretty spot on at this point I'm so pale that um, by like winter time if I continue to get more pale I'm just gonna have to use like white acrylic paint for my makeup because that's how that's where we're moving this foundation's really good my hair on the other hand that's so good oh yeah oh yeah Straight out of the gate, I love this. $12 foundation. That is amazing. Um, the biggest reason that I'm putting on makeup right now when I'm going to help someone move is that I, it's Saturday, and usually my filming days are Sunday, but with like it being November and all that stuff right now, um, I'm really having to like amp up the blog posts and so I'm really gonna have to start spending my time Using the revolution concealer as well I'm really gonna have to start spending my time on both Saturdays and Sundays working because I Just don't have time to like chill on the weekends because I'm still working my normal job um, And I have like a blog post and YouTube channel to run so I'm hoping that today I can um, help them move and then fit we can like finish up at a decent time so I can come home sit down at least film one YouTube video hopefully out of the three that I have and if you guys don't already know the revolution concealer I swear it is like better than the Tarte Shape Tape and it's only seven dollars I believe for like the smaller size they do make two sizes I think it's actually better because I think it blends a little easier than the Tarte Shape Tape so Revolution, I like you. Made me very sad with that revolution. I made a revolution fast based foundation stick review on my main channel. That was like one of the last makeup things I did. And it it was horrible. Like I literally brushed it across my skin. And I was like, great, this is not gonna go well. And I hated it. Like I hated the way my face looked from the get go. And I tried to save it. I tried to do everything I could. And it just, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't happening for me. Baby, are you up yet? Take that as a no. Of course he's not up. All right. Then I'm using the Morphe 8, 8H palette. I don't know why you would ever name a palette that. That's so hard to say. Interesting to see how they work. All right, so that palette's a little bit pigmented. <laughs> Be very careful. Should have known 
being a Morphe palette, that it was going to be super pigmented, and I needed to be careful, but I wasn't. So now I'm going to split, spend the next like 20 minutes blending. I am loving this foundation like so much. It is so like I can already tell it's starting to settle into my skin in a really good way. Like it's starting to look. I used too much up there too. It's starting to like look more natural almost and like it's a full coverage foundation so i'm excited i got the rudest hate comment one time about the way that i contour my nose i'm like y'all everyone's nose is different like that's just like how you're not supposed to contour your face faces like the same way you're not supposed to contour your noses the same way i contour my nose the way that makes me secure and so i that's how i do it and someone was like that is just so wrong well then, Bethy, let me just change my makeup because you think I should. Okay, so it is 12 hours later and the lighting isn't all that great in here, but honestly, you guys, I'm floored with this foundation. So I was sweating like a pig today because we moved my in-laws entire house. Crazy day. But I was sweating like crazy. This is a $12 foundation. The only place I noticed that it came off and I scratched, like I rubbed my nose a lot today, was right here. And I literally got a little bit of shine like right there, but I honestly, I put highlight there. So I'm not even sure that's actually like sweat. I think it's honestly highlight. Oh my gosh, best $12 foundation. Best foundation ever. Like I would compare that to the Estee Lauder Double Wear. That's how much I love that foundation. I will totally be buying more of it forever. It, uh, like I want to go buy my friends that foundation right now. $12, full coverage all day, not like 100% sweat proof, but I'd say like 80% sweat proof. You need it. But I am, we're just, I'm exhausted. <laughs> we're about to go hop in the shower and um, call it a night because it is only 7 o'clock at night, but we have been going for 12 hours. 12 hours. So, so you guys will see me again tomorrow, but holy crap, I'm tired. And my makeup still looks awesome. So like I don't want to wash it off. I'm delusional. I'm going to go. Good morning, everyone. I think the last time I checked in with you guys, I was like about to hop in the shower or something. Um, and I was just like showing you guys how awesome that makeup was. I completely forgot. Like I already had like a foot in the shower. So um, that probably is why that clip was a little bit rushed. But <laughs> I woke up this morning with so much energy, like crazy amount of energy at 6.40. And me and my husband were both like, why are we running around in such a good mood, so energetic, so woken up, and it's only 6.40? It's because the freaking time change, you guys. We had no idea. Like we completely forgot, slept right through it. Well, I mean, obviously we slept through it, but like we just weren't paying attention. And so I was like, I'm so energetic. I'm so ready to do everything today. And it's 640 because of the time change. So today we have so much to do. I have all my blog posts to write, a bunch of emails, um, YouTube videos to film. Husband has to hang my curtains up. I got like the second set of curtains in my office and I'm so excited for them. My new desk will be in tomorrow. I'm really excited. Um, and then hopefully this office will be like good to go. But we just have so much to do because I have to do all that and then we have to go grocery shopping and then we have to get pet food and then we have to pharmacy that's far away from our house to get medicine <laughs> and it's just like a lot to do but. hello everyone so it's been a few days i think maybe actually it's only been about a day since i've talked to you guys i just got home from work um i am putting together my desk it just came in i'm really excited about it but i cannot do it alone because i have to have my husband here he's a lot like quicker at that stuff and I could do it by myself but it would take like four hours with him it would take like 20 minutes and his friend just texted me and he wants to come over and surprise him tonight so it's probably gonna take about four hours to put the daggum stuff together <laughs> it's okay I just wanted to update you guys and just tell you that you probably about to see some struggle bussing cuz you know it's me we're talking about so I literally ordered a desk and it came in in this huge thing but look at this it's called a dining table <laughs> so I literally ordered a dining table that is like 
huge, but not big enough to be a dining table or my desk. So it's gonna go in place of this folding table, but I also got, I just finished opening them. I just got all of these storage containers. I li I'll link them below. I got them from Target because I like the little clear, like I like my organization to be organized. So like all of these drawers, like they're not organized inside. So it worked out with things like this and I'll show you guys all the stuff later, but like this was a drawer out of my old makeup thing. And like these little things are causing like little issues because they're hitting stuff. And so it's just kind of like annoying and they don't fit together in the back there as you can see. So I'm just going to kind of stick some organization. You know what I'm talking about. By the way, these are all my vitamins. I don't know if I've even showed you guys this or not or said anything about it, but these are all vitamins. And people ask me all the time why I don't take multivitamins or like a multivitamin because I have to have like stronger doses of some things and looser or I guess and lighter doses of some others. So I don't take a multivitamin. I just take like what my doctors have told me to take. So that's why. And if you see that hanging around, that's what it is. So let's get to organize. this done. I mean, it took like two seconds, but I have them organized between concealers, my favorite foundations, the mascaras, lip products, blush, highlighter, and then just my powders and like eye stuff. And this I am so proud of. I don't know if I told you guys already. Um, I don't know if I've told you guys, but I actually purged so much of my makeup. I think I might've told you in my last vlog, but I got rid of probably 60% of my makeup. No, that's not, it's more like probably 80% because I just found like it was so ridiculous to have all this crap that I never reached for. So I got most of it dwindled down to this and it looks really good now. It's like all organized and in one place. And now I have to do the other one. kind of put, oh, it's all sliding. Maybe this isn't the best way to shape. But I put my eye creams and eye stuff there, night creams here, sprays, the roller that I use, vitamins, and then skincare and like just some extra stuff in the back. Honestly, it's still like kind of a working progress to figure out what solution is best, but I can flat out tell you that now that I have this cart, I hands 
down and way more organized. Like my room is cleaner. I'm more like excited to get things um, cleaned and organized and off my surface. And like, even when I'm doing the makeup in the morning, I'm like, ah, oh, I can't wait to clean. And I think I'm realizing the older I get, I'm kind of like, when it comes to surfaces, I'm a minimalist. I don't like a lot of stuff on surfaces. So um, that definitely helps a lot because it's just so simple. The only other drawer that I think really needed the help was the drawer that I keep all of my extras in. So like I have, some of my extra eye masks in it. Um, I keep this little thing, it's actually a sunglass case, but I keep like all my extra little styling tools and stuff in here, like tweezers, a wand for when I had my lash extensions, scissors, lash curler, things like that. I just keep it in here and it's actually like really cute for it. But this drawer I do like find myself reaching for and stuff a lot and so I need, I need to do something in here. Um, I have all of my little stuff separated by baggies, and I have just like all my extra lash glues, and then another like Glam Glow sample. Don't quite know why I kept the Glam Glow sample. I don't know. And then I've got my extra little pore masks. If you guys have bad pores, these are the best for them. And the charcoal are even better, but you have to be careful. Like I can use the white um, no nose strips. A few times a week, I can only use a charcoal one once because that thing will, it'll clear you out. But just wanted to let you know. And then I keep all my bobby pins in little bags because I cannot stand. I don't know what it is, but if I keep my zip, my bobby pins in a little Ziploc bag, I will never drop them on the ground, ever. Like the whole bag, it won't ever hit the ground. The moment I take those bobby pins out of that friggin' bag, I drop my bobby pins all over the floor and they fall all over the place. So I've learned my lesson after many years of high school cheerleading and competitions and hair and just being female. Like I cannot put my body pins in a open container. So now I've got, we're just gonna do it this way. I've got the nose strips, my lash glue and glam glow things, some extra hair bows, extra bobby pins, and then just my like hair cutting scissors that I use to cut my own hair. Um, an extra skincare, extra skincare, those tools, more masks, wipes, and then my deodorant. And I almost just threw that all over the floor. Just so you guys can see, I've got my makeup brushes up there. But look at this. I have all my palettes. I ended up putting this in this drawer. I have all my palettes. I fit them all into one drawer. This used to not be a thing. And I did not discover that, like, until I did this, that, like, 90% of my palettes are Morphe. Look at that. These are Morphe, that's Morphe, that's Morphe, that's Morph NYX, that's Morphe. Both of these are the Morphe palettes. I'm just obsessed with them. And then I keep my hair care in this one. I do still have two drawers that are completely unused. And I have found that like, I used to be the type of person that would just like shove crap in these drawers because I had extra drawer space, but that made me unorganized. So I don't put anything in those, but I have my hair stuff here and actually there we go that's a little bit better but these are just the hair products that I use and then these are all the hot tools that I kept I actually got rid of a lot of those too I only keep my t3 now my Numi curling wand cheese straightener that Conair um, uh, hair dryer that probably needs to be replaced it's so old and then my straightening brush those are like the only hot tools that I kept keep my camera equipment most of it in here and then the rest of it stays like over here or right there. But I have my camera stuff, like all the smaller stuff, it's in here and then my cords stay in the front. Like these are the cords that I use a lot when I am filming. And then I don't know if I've showed you guys my jewelry storage, I changed it around a little bit. This is where I keep the stuff that I wear every day. I showed you guys that last time. And then just some more like extras, extra lip products, a brush cleaner, a mirror, some extra um, of that marble paper that I used. And... Okay. Your breath stinks. Oh my God. Go brush your teeth. Go brush your teeth. Ugh. Dog. Oh my gosh. Why? Is this so... Your breath smells so bad. Go brush your teeth. Okay. I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave those lights on because they give us a lot of light, don't they, Doug? Even though we're not on it. Can I help you? 
Listen, all you animals. I have opened this package less than two seconds ago. And y'all are all in here. Y'all need to chill. You're already getting, look, you're already getting dog hair on stuff. Already getting cat hair. I haven't even opened it. I don't even know what it looks like. Dog. Why am I ripping things open? Like they all have opening things. Oh god. Oh, this actually doesn't look that bad. Ooh, that is nice. Whoa, that was me. That was me. Calm down. <laughs> That was me who knocked. Doug, can you go over there and get me the screws that are that are right here? Okay, I got it done. 20 minutes and one big gigantic mess later. It only took about actually 20 minutes to do. I'm really excited. I thought this was gonna be like press board because this was like super, super cheap, but it uh, is not. And it also cannot be a dining table unless it is the thinnest dining table ever. It's only like 24 inches deep, I believe. So I am so excited to have a real desk in here. You guys have no idea. Happy election day. So I think this is the final day I'm going to vlog. I've got like way too much this, due to week, this week to continue to vlog. But um, I voted today and I hope you guys voted too. It's very important that we do that. I just, my mom sent me a video while I was napping, which is why I look like this. And it was like, vote or shut up. And it was this like lady and she was like dancing around. She was like, vote or shut up. Cause she was basically saying that like people talk about their voice matters and all this stuff, but then they don't go out and vote. And like, so it is important to do that. So I voted, but I ended up coming home from work early cause I don't feel good. I don't know why. I have not felt good for the past few days. Do you guys see that very big package that's behind me? It's my wedding dress. It just came back in, so I'm gonna open it with you guys right now. So, let me see if I can find somewhere to put this thing. So, I got my dress from David's Bridal. Don't know if I've said that on my blog channel yet. If you guys are new here, yes, that is where my dress came from with David's Bridal. And they had this like box thing that they do. And when I bought my dress, it was like on a special, and I think it was like 120 bucks if you buy the box when you buy the dress. And basically, it has all these like directions on the back, and it says like, pack it up, drop it off, enjoy it forever. And I didn't know what was in this box, I didn't open it until after I got married. Literally, it's everything. It walks you through like step by step on how to send your dress to them, and then they send it back. Now that 120 just covers the cleaning if you want it. Um, like fixed if you want anything changed and all that if you want to put extra accessories in it it's extra money but I literally just got my dress cleaned I um, still have my veil out because my veil was like so freaking ridiculously expensive that I have told friends they can wear it and I have a few friends that want to wear it so I'm not pres preserving that and then I wanted to keep my garter because I just like have a little box and I think it's so cute so I literally just only got my dress cleaned This is about to be emotional. I want you guys to just know. I have recently really started to struggle. I've been married for six months. And I've noticed recently that like certain memories of that day are starting to fade. And it's making me really sad. But that's the thing about like getting married. It is the most special day. But like you make memories and they're good and they're fun. And I think it's just been kind of hard for me. Because that was like such an awesome day that I got to like build up especially on my YouTube channel, and then it all ended, and like, I held on to those memories, and they're starting to fade, so it's really sweet, but kind of sad. So I'm really nervous to see my dress, but I'm so excited. Might cry, because I just woke up, and I don't feel good, so I might be a little extra emotional today. I don't know. Oh, crap. I don't know if it's, if I'm allowed to open this box. Crap. Okay. Hold on. So it came a box inside the box. Okay. <gasps> I'm 
totally gonna cry. Wow. <laughs> yeah, totally just, yeah. It was like the best day ever. Wow, they really cleaned it. I can like see the bottom of it and that was the worst part. show it to you guys all right so it's not the best lighting but there it is so it's in this beautiful like thick thick box and then it's got where you can like see the dress so there it is there you can see the little neckline where it's split and the bust this ribbon isn't like that wasn't a part of it that's just like what they're using to hold it together look at how pretty Oh, the most special dress I have ever worn to marry the greatest guy. Sweet. Alright guys, so I think I'm going to go ahead and call this vlog quits. I have vlogged for a few days now because I just wanted to like start getting more normal into vlogging like multiple days. But I think this is it. I'm going to go find... A new home for her. Well, not a new home, like a new place in my home. And I'm feeling like we should name her. Because everything in my life has a name. Everything. Um, all of it. Well, I mean, not like stupid things, but clearly my wedding dress is a very, very non-stupid thing and we must name it. So, I'm going to go find a place in my house for her where she won't get messed up. And I'm just going to like pull her out every <laughs> few years and cry again. <laughs> So that's all I got for this vlog, but thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys next time.